I didn't do this career to be able to get to the milestones. I did it because it was value based. I wanted to be here. I wanted to engage and connect with young people and add to this field, even if it's just one tiny brick. Come on in guys, welcome to the Youth Reference Group. It's so awesome that you're here for our next workshop. A key project at the moment is developing and establishing a youth reference group where we've recruited a brilliant and fantastic group of young people. It's really interesting that young people aren't often included in research, even though it is about them. We should have them automatically involved in these kinds of research projects. So it doesn't make me mad when like young people don't get listened to. Yes, it does. Like you can't just study, you know, a rabbit without even seeing one. Some adults might not be able to point out certain things which is okay, but you have to listen to other people so then they can also point out what is wrong. Because we're going to be the future adults, we're going to be the future, the future people in power. And we know what we like and what we want, so it's our perspectives that's going to shape the world. What do you think is stopping us from inclusion? Stopping us from... Our youth reference group is a group of around 8 to 10 young people, so they're ranging from about grade 8 to grade 12, and they come and meet with us over a couple of different workshops, and we talk about our research, um, our different topics, and they're basically experts and give us feedback on how we're going and the type of research that we're doing. Actually bringing and equalising young people's views and perspectives on our research, as I would for a fellow colleague in the faculty. Our research method that our youth reference group are currently piloting um, is looking at using a co-participatory research method called Photo Voice, where we're actually getting young people to take photos of their experiences of school, inclusion, and current issues and strengths of young people. And then we're working through in workshops what those photos mean and what, what even is their experience of life right now in this generation. And we're hoping that that will then inform some policy and then even disseminate some key messages of the young person's experience. Often their experience is stigmatised. Often they're not given a voice to talk about mental health or climate change. If you aren't getting better, then you are getting worse. This is a motto that I live by. I do feel a lot of pressure when seeing a number. I constantly check my Instagram followers. If people don't feel like they're included, they won't feel like they have a voice. And if people don't feel like they have a voice, then how are we going to represent everyone's views in our society? For example, like I'm Muslim and I wear a scarf and stuff and if I see someone act different with me, so I just kind of find it very offensive. started off with what's your experience of school and life now as you know it and so the first project or the first element of our second workshop was to go and get them to just answer that question. We didn't want to put any predefining ideas onto what they should say. So from that um, they generated ideas around technology use, mental health, climate change as key issues that they're experiencing um, currently as well as study and exam stress. They didn't believe or know that there were adults out there who were happy to listen and wanted to listen and give them that voice. It was incredibly inspiring to, to hear them turn around and say actually I can't believe I get to share my views. I can't believe I actually can create change. So uplifting and inspiring young people in our youth reference group is an important part of that too. It's not just about us getting data and testing out our method, it's about empowering and supporting that development of leadership in our next generation. It is hard to communicate to adults. It is hard to share those key messages that they're impacted by. And so this is a bridge that we can do that.